it's Kana, and today I'm going to be helping tasty producer Alvin find the perfect couch for his apartment. So here's how it's going to happen. First is shopping. I know that online shopping can be super daunting and it's really hard to find the perfect piece of furniture without seeing it in real life first. But that's alright, we're going to figure that all out today. Second is a short list. After all that research, I'm going to be narrowing it down to a short list of three perfect pieces for Alvin to choose from. Third and lastly is the big reveal. The couch is going to arrive in Alvin's space and we're going to get to see what it really looks like in real life. So first up, Alvin has sent me a video of his living room of what it kind of looks like right now. Let's check it out. My name is Alvin, I am a tasty producer, and I have very little experience with online shopping. The kind of things I shop for, you know, are kind of like the basic stuff. Nothing too big, nothing too crazy, like a laundry basket. So one thing that I really want to be able to get is a big ticket item, like a very nice couch, and I've never done that before. This is the living room area, but my roommate kind of designed it when he moved in, so you know, it was kind of already set in place. So. I kind of want to swap this couch out for something that has a little bit more space, like some more storage. I mean, it's not a bad couch, but you know, if it's something that was a little bit lighter, a little bit cleaner, more like modern or chic, I'm willing to invest a good amount of money, probably budget of around like $1,500, $2,500. I'm going to need some help to find one that I really like. So he gave us a couple of specifications that we need to work with him. Firstly, it needs some kind of storage, whether that's room under the couch to store stuff or built-in storage. It needs to be super comfortable for him and his roommates to lounge around in. It needs to be a more light frame that suits the space with a modern design and a clean look. And he is willing to spend fifteen to $2,500, but I think I can get that price range a little bit down for him. Now, to start shopping, there's a couple of tips and tricks I want to cover before we even log on. Firstly, you need to think about the measurements of your space. I asked Alvin to measure the width of the wall that the couch is going to sit on, and then the measurement of the wall parallel. And another really important thing to measure is the size of your door. I have been victim to this before of online shopping for a perfect chair, it arrived and the box did not fit through the door. So in Alvin's case, we're working in an apartment building, which can get a bit tricky. He fortunately has an elevator, very bougie. I don't have that. So we need to make sure that it's going to fit within the elevator and also just be within a weight range that can get up and down, or even if you don't have an apartment building, whether it can be lugged up on your porch. And lastly, before you start shopping, kind of figure out what style and mood you're going for. It's a lot easier just to like narrow that little bit down so your search titles are correct because you don't want to be scouting the whole web for every single sofa that exists. All right, let's start shopping. A really good place to start would be West Elm. They are within his price range, so it's giving me kind of the same sort of style of options and Alvin isn't too picky on the color or material the couch he wants. So what we can narrow it down to is price range and I am very excited to spend his price range. It's not my price range, but with the tips and tricks I'm going to give you, I think you can find whatever you need at any price range. Okay, I'm kind of interested in this velvet couch. It's a little bit under budget for him, but let's check it out. It looks like it's got the room under the couch for storage, and it looks kind of cozy. Let's see if there's any reviews. I think that's so important when trying to find a couch, especially because you can't actually test it out yourself, is to see what other people have thought of the product. And it looks like West Elm has a feature that doesn't just have reviews, but you can ask questions and they'll answer them. So it's giving me the top four or five answers to the most common questions. I'm not really sure that velvet is the kind of material that would be perfect for Alvin. I think he's after something that can handle a little bit more wear and tear since he wants it to last like a very long time and he's got roommates and I don't know what kind of parties they have if they do but we want this couch to be lasting over 10 years. So let's get off West Elm and we'll try Urban Outfitters and see what they've got. But I feel like they've got such unique designs on Urban Outfitters that they should have something that is going to be right up Alvin's alley. Oh my gosh this one is so good. I've never seen a couch that looks like this. The Reed Side Table Convertible Sofa. It's a little bit under budget, which is good, and it has a built-in side table. Also, another really helpful hint when shopping is to look at the shipping and returns instructions. So, we can see that it's gonna arrive in two to four weeks, which is, seems kind of standard for a couch, but the cost of shipping can vary, which is something that they can get you in a bit of a loophole sometimes of extra costs. Another more higher end site is CB2. So let's see what they've got. Up couch, definitely on the higher price range. This one's fun. Wow, and they have got 10 out of 10 for reviews because the one and only Gwyneth Paltrow has left the number one review of this couch. I think it's actually designed by her company Goose, if I'm not wrong. I don't know if Alvin's gonna find that fun as much as I find that fun, but it's great. 
Another really good feature this couch has for its durability over a long time is that it spot cleans immediately with a dry cloth. A lot of couches don't have that. If you spill on it, you've ruined it. So I can see why it's $2,000. One thing that CB2 offers that is really great to look out for is that you can do a warehouse pickup. So if you have a car that's big enough to fit a sofa, it'd be really good to shop online and then actually go pick up your couch in person, which could be a lot faster than delivery. I've seen a lot of advertising for this company called Joybird, and I know a really good thing they do is send you samples of the fabrics, which is so important if you're going to be shopping online. Just to be able to see it in natural light and see its durability and see how soft it really is, you can kind of get a good feel for what it's going to be. This one's good. It's like a very basic frame and comes in so many colors. Wow. And then if you're investing a lot of money in a couch, a good idea is to pick a kind of neutral color because then in the long run, no matter whether your dial changes or you move houses, it's going to suit every space you're in. Joybird seem to also offer a 360 day home trial. So their returns policy is super good. Also a good thing to look out for is a chat service. You can get feedback and ask some questions. If there's anything you're really missing that you need to know. Great sofa that I have hidden up my sleeve. I may or may not have worked in Ikea at a past life. And I know that they have a couch called a Frihedon. I'm probably butchering that name. It has built-in storage. I did notice in the video that Alvin sent me that there are a lot of gaming controllers and consoles. Under the couch is really great storage to put that. So we're gonna go with something a little more neutral that will brighten up the space. And this beige looks really good. So the last company we're gonna look at is Article. They do sell a range of furniture, but I've heard good things about their sofas. More of their basic shapes would be good for him. So one of my last tips for shopping for a couch online is your keywords. There's also a couple of industry grade things to look out for. All these things that are popping up around me are things to look out for to make sure that you've got a high quality couch. Because I understand one of the hardest things about picking a sofa online is to know whether it's actually really good quality and the companies that are gonna be selling the quality furniture are gonna mention that. So I'm super confident that we have an awesome short list of three sofas for Alvin. So we're gonna get him in here and present them and see which one he likes the best. Hello Alvin. What's up? Thank you for meeting with me. <laughs> I'm so excited to show you the three options that were shortlisted for you. I really wanna see what kind of couch I might be getting. So our first option on yeah. the shortlist is a couch that I found from a brand named Article. So it's a yeah. classic sleek modern design, which I know you were after, and it's something that really is quite timeless. I think it looks very good. This is really cool. How did you find this? Oh, it just looks very clean. It's like, it's kind of like this one I think we're sitting on. Yeah, so for like, sure. I was like, I came in and I was like, this couch is really good. I think it looks like it's kind of that modern feel that I wanted. Let's run to our second option. A very versatile couch. It actually has three main focuses. This couch might not be mainstream enough oh, yeah. for your style, but I thought that it had a lot of different elements. So it's got the really comfortable cushioned sofa, a built-in table, because I know you said that you wanted storage. Yes, that is true. That is very true. And then also it folds into a sofa bed. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, the whole back comes down. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, I see why you picked this one. Especially yeah. in New York, having a small apartment, guests always come over, if your parents or friends and family. So then our third option is from Ikea. Whoa, what is going on in this picture? Also a very versatile couch. Uh -huh. It has a pull-out bed mm. and the sectional pulls up with built-in storage. Oh, that's what the flat's like a Lamborghini, except yeah. that you put stuff underneath. That's so cool. I feel like this, solves like the biggest like storage problem where it's like literally the entire couch like underneath is like exactly for storage. Based on the picture, I could really imagine if I like went home and like sat on it right now, I would be very happy. So I have one last surprise for you, oh. which is- uh, I love surprises. <laughs> I really know you need a built-in storage okay. and I had a really great idea. Pull out drawers for under the couch to store all of your that things. Like, blankets or extra clothes and pillows. I like this idea very much. <laughs> so you've had some time to think now of your three options that we've given you. Have you come to a decision? Which is the perfect couch for you? They're all perfect options, yes. but which do you feel the most drawn to? I mean, all three looked like super cool. I, I think any of them would be a fantastic upgrade for what I have going on right now, um, but I think I know what I want. So I'll put the order forward and then we'll catch up with you and see how it looks in real life in your space. All right, I don't build furniture that often, but I will do my best to make this one look good. Cool, let's go ahead. All right, cool.
Okay guys, so the couch actually just arrived and the one that I ended up choosing for my room was the article gray couch. And I chose this couch because I really like the mid-century design on it. I think it's really nice and I think it's a great piece of furniture that has a lot of awesome quality for the price I invested. So I'm very happy with this product. So oh, this couch is pretty awesome. It kind of came exactly how I wanted it. It's nice, it's soft, it's comfy. And the thing is, I was actually going to show you guys the assembly of the couch, but it came pretty much already done. There's no assembly required, it was like, throw these legs on, that was pretty much it. And I think that's great for me because I am a cook, I'm not a DIY expert, and I'd probably mess it up if I had to do it myself. I think this couch is gonna be a fantastic companion for me in the years to come. And I really wanna thank Kana for being such an expert to help me pick this out because without it, I don't think I would've had this amazing couch. So thank you, Kana.